Hello and welcome to the other side of the kitchen table. It's toys, towels from the toilet bowl goes cooking. Again. Again. Do you want to move over a bit? Name my eyes. Right, so today, well now, you've already had today, <laughs> we're going to do a tuna melt. If anyone missed it, on Facebook there is a video of us doing a live stream. stream. And we're doing another one tomorrow at one o'clock on Instagram. Okay, so you get your bread. The king's meal, you don't might not have king's meal, it doesn't really matter what bread you have. It's bread. You've got your marge, margarine, your marge, you've got your tuna. Now, I, I already drained this because I gave the cats the, the brine, and you've got your cheese. All things that you need for your, I just covered your face up. I know. All things that you need for the tuna milk. So, you take your bread, <laughs> you're appearing. You get your bread. Now I've got to make three of these. Yeah. So. Four slices of bread. Six slices of bread. So you, however many you're making, you get the right amount of bread. So I've got six. Right, two bread. slices per. Yeah, two slices per to but melt. Melt. Not toasty. <laughs> so you get your butter and your marge, whatever you're using. Margarine, sorry, margarine. Yes, you give me a knife. You know how to butter bread. I don't really need to show you that, do I? So you do both of the uh, pieces of bread. What is wrong with that light? I don't know. Our light's gone a bit dodgy. It's going to be great when we do our video later, isn't it? I'm going to be doing another cooking one tonight because I'm doing chicken tonight. Chicken tonight. <laughs> No, actually chicken tonight, I mean, I'm actually making some chicken. Like chicken tonight. You like are a chicken. chicken tonight. Anyway, so you, yeah, you butter your bread. I'm still buttering the bread. Do you want to talk why I'm doing this? Well, she's buttering bread, which is really educational for people who don't know how to butter bread. Well, everyone knows how to butter bread. Um, you have to take the butter on the knife <laughs> and spread the and bread. And rub it in. <laughs> well, you don't rub it in, do you? You don't stand and rub it long. You spread the bread. We, in case you didn't know how to do it, that's that's how you do it. You get the butter on the knife and then spread it all over the bread. The lotion in the potion or something. The, the lotion. lotion and the bread. So you get your tuna. Tuna. Yeah. A bit wherever come out, that would help. Like that. So you get a spoonful of it. You plop it on. You can't see it at the moment, but I'll show you. You plop it down. You plop it down. So you, you plop it down, plop it down like that. That doesn't look very nice, does it? No. And you get quite a lot of tuna on there. One can should do six, because you don't put tuna on both sides of the bread. You put it on one side. You have to butter both sides so it doesn't work properly. Um, well, in my experience, it doesn't work properly anyway. It's really dry. Oh. So you butter both sides of the bread. Not both sides of the bread. Well, yeah, both. I don't know. I don't know. What you butter about. both slices of bread. Thank that's you. what she's saying. That's what I'm trying to say. It didn't come out like that, did it? Right. So you you fill up your your bread like that. Tuna on the bread like that. Let's do the others. It's not very interesting watching me do this. Mum, talk. So she's now placing tuna onto the bread. You put an even coating of tuna on the bread. As even as you can get it. As even as you can get it. Because tuna is not naturally even, she's having to whack it down with a spoon. And um, this is quite educational, this tuna melt video. It's not. <laughs> well, it is. Some people don't know how to do tuna melt. So, yeah, she's she's evenly placing the tuna on the bread, the buttered bread. Trying to. Oh, just spat at me. She's still doing the tuna <laughs> on the bread. Yeah, it takes time, you know. Not a two-second job. Unless you're a chef, maybe then it's a two-second job, but I'm not a chef. No, she just knows how to make tuna milk. Yeah. And a mess. And that's making a mess as well. She's really good at making a mess. Thanks, Mum. Mm 
flipping else sake. Can't do video, shut up. Every bit of tuna out. <laughs> Every little bit of tuna out. Yep. So we're using Prince's tuna. It's not Prince's tuna, it's Anne's. It's Prince's tuna. I'm going to find that brand one. Oh, as I said before, before you do anything with um, food, wash hands. That's what you get. So that's three slices of bread, all tune it up. Meat, cheese, no cheese knife. Be very careful with this, very sharp. Getting yeah, grown up to help you. Yeah, I feel like I'm on Blue Peter. <laughs> so do it yourself if you're under the age of 10. So you just place the cheese on top of the tuna. Doesn't really matter if it's neat or not. Because it's going to melt anyway. That's why it's called a tuna melt. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, educational. So my mum's just buttering the... Uh, I'm spreading the bread. The, yeah. It doesn't matter... If you don't completely cover the bread with the cheese, because it will melt. That's the whole point of a tuna melt. Um, but, you know, get it as much as you can. It doesn't work for me. <laughs> Just do my best. Do my best. That's all you can do. When the cheese doesn't want to go how you want it to go, you can only do your best. Oh, well, that's too thick. You don't want the cheese too thick or it won't melt. No, it just congeal. You don't want that. And then it'd be a cheese congeal, not a cheese tuna. <laughs> yeah, a tuna congeal. And you don't want that. So when you've done that and you've got the cheese on it, it should look something like that. So the cheese and the top of the, the, top of the tuna, like that. It doesn't matter if it's not all the same size, because I'm not like, oh, it has to be the same size. It doesn't have to be the same size. When someone says that to you. But you don't want one spe specifically thick bit, because so if just, you do that, it won't melt evenly. No, just place the bread on top. Try and make sure that you've got it edge to edge, because you don't want, cheese squirting out everywhere or tuna for that matter I mean, more cheese though than tuna so it looks like that uh, okay so it should look something like a cheese and tuna sandwich when you're finished um, and this is the scientific bit that she's doing now pop the oven on to 180 or six. 180 degrees on August number six. And then pop them on the top shelf. Mm, in the top shelf of the oven. Obviously. It helps if the oven's preheated, but I didn't we do didn't that. do that because it's so hot in this kitchen. Yeah. So just leave them in the oven for like 15 minutes and I will show you the results of the tuna melt. In 15 minutes. Then it's done. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to pause you here and I'll be back in 15 minutes to show you the finished product. So hopefully this time it will work, but not the last time. Okay. See you in a bit.